Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Save the Planet here on Thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. I was thinking about this. As I made my smoothie. That's six bananas, two um, oranges, and some uh, sugar. So, uh, so good. <laughs> Anyway, I was thinking about this while I, I don't know what came to mind. This, um, <laughs> this is about 52 years ago now. But when I first moved to New York City, I got into running and all this sort of stuff. And I was fooling around with diets and what sort of a diet I could do and looking at supplements and vitamins. And we didn't know anything. Compared to what we know now, we didn't know anything. Um, the research just really, there wasn't much to it. Basically, it was two diets. It was the Atkins diet and the Pritikin diet. Okay? Uh, Atkins was, you know, the precursor to paleo and keto. Um, you know, a lot of meat, a lot of dairy, a lot of all this sort of stuff. And Pritikin was high carb, low fat. Okay? So, um, basically... All the runners gravitated to Pritikin, and all the muscle heads did the Atkins. Okay? It was pretty cut and dry. And one of the reasons that I went to Pritikin is because you could pretty much eat as much as you wanted. Like today, you restricted what you ate, but how much you ate was pretty much carte blanche especially if you're running as much as I was. Minimum 10 miles a day. Oh, I, I, I was possessed. I loved running. And to this day, I love running, but I can't. My knees started to give out, and I stopped running so I wouldn't need surgery and all that. And they're fine now. They're absolutely fine. As long as between the kettlebell and the um, bike, no sweat at all. I don't even limp. I don't, I'm not even sore. They're fine. So I'm glad I, I, I cut the whole thing short before I went... Uh, too far with that. Anyway, diet. Now, about this time, I fooled around with diet, and I, it fa the whole thing fascinated me. I um, was reading every little bit that I could get my, my hands on, but um, yeah, so I fixated on the Pritikin diet, and I was, oh, geez, I did that for about 18, 20 years and loved it. Absolutely. High carb, low fat. It's not exactly what we're doing now, but it's very, very close. And with all the running I was doing, I was so, so thin. I did almost no weights or kettlebell at all. I did some push-ups every now and then. But I was just running, 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 and just emaciated. Emaciated. It looked like I had a tapeworm. It was unbelievable. But anyway, um, it was interesting because at about that time that I started running, there was one of the first big super boxing matches. Super fights. Ali Frazier was the first one. Um, but this one was Sugar Ray Leonard, the darling of the Olympics and all this sort of stuff. Handsome. And Wilfredo Benitez, an absolutely brilliant tactical, genius tactical fighter. Young kid from uh, Puerto Rico. Handsome. I, I mean, had the whole ball of wax. It was just really one for the ages. Now, they were interviewing Benitez. And he said, was it through an interpreter, interpreter or was it just broken English? I don't remember, but I, I think it was just broken English. And they were talking about his training situation. And this, for some reason, guys, made such an impression on me. I don't know. I don't know why. But again... Think about it. I'm fooling around with different diets and all that sort of stuff. And he said, you know, anybody who worked for me, anybody who trained me, no, I work hard in the gym. I'll forego my lame Puerto Rican accent. Okay? And he said, look, I'll train. He tells everybody that comes to work for him. He says, I will train. He says, I'll train harder then you want me to. You're going to have to drag me out of the gym. You want me to run five miles, I'll run ten. You want me to spar an hour, I'll spar two. He's just, he loved everything about boxing. He was young and crazy, and he worked hard. 
He says, but one thing, he says, you know what? I'll stay out of the clubs. I'll stay away from the Chiquitas, the whole nine yards. But one thing I will not do, and he says, if you say one word about it, you're fired. He says, I will not starve myself. He says, I won't do it. You get weak. You get, I just feel terrible. This is all broken English. And he says, I will not starve myself. He says, don't worry. I'll be in shape, but don't even tell me. Now he says, I won't eat junk food, I won't drink or anything like that. And who knew what junk food was back then? You know, pizza, we all thought cheese was good for you, you know. So anyway, for some reason, guys, that stuck with me. And I can honestly say, outside of fooling around with a couple juice cleanses, which I think are good in certain situations, outside of that, I never restricted calories. Now remember, I said I was so thin with all the running I'm doing. I just had to eat because I was constantly hungry. Just there was not enough food in the, on the planet for me to get in my mouth. I just ate enormous amounts of food. I mean, calories, you know, 3,000 calories a day was nothing. And I have not changed. I completely, 100% agree, you should not go hungry. The minute you, you try to get hungry, Guys, you, st you let yourself get hungry, your standards go down. And guys, if you're hungry and you're driving down the street, you are deluged with junk food, pizza, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, all this garbage. It's on billboards. You turn on the radio and it, it's, it's on, the, on the advertisements. It's everywhere. Oh, God, you drive down the street and malls all have... It's everywhere. And if you let yourself get hungry to the point where you're getting a little frantic. Guys, you're gonna stop and you're gonna order a slice. You're gonna stop at the drive-thru and you're gonna get yourself a couple, you know, impossible whoppers. It's so important that you don't let yourself get hungry. Not only that, guys, who wants to live like that? Who wants to starve themselves? You saw the, you, you saw the video that I did earlier today. Who the heck wants to put themselves through that? That's not life. Just constantly hungry. Oh my God, I'm intermittent fasting. I, 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 can't, I can't eat anything for another two hours. What am I going to do? Oh, I, I better get a juice. No, I'm not living like that. I love juice. I love smoothies. I love fruit. If the fruit isn't ripe and great, I, great, I put sugar on it. I love feeling I corn, rice, peas, potatoes. I love that with all the sauces. and, and I love it. And the fact of the matter is, below 10 grams, I don't count calories. I just eat as much as I want, when I want, when I'm hungry. The only thing I, I'm a little concerned about is I told you, I think, yesterday. If I go to bed at 8 o'clock, I want to stop eating, preferably, by 4, no later than 5. So I'm not going to, um, going to bed on a full stomach. I just sleep better, I rejuvenate better. That's the only restriction I make. Everything else, I eat what I want. Now, the point is, I usually, it's only about 9 o'clock, 9.30. I usually don't have the smoothie until later in the early afternoon. What I will do is, I, as I told you yesterday, juices, sugar water, and all that sort of stuff. But I did about 40 miles on the bike yesterday, okay, which at this point in the, in, the, in the season is quite a bit for me. Later on, when I get into June and July and whatnot, I have to, um, 30 to 40 a day is pretty much norm, okay? But that's quite a bit. And I got up early and I did the stationary bike this morning. So I, I've, done, I've done a lot of working out in the last week, 10 days, and I am quite hungry. And the thoughts of a sugar water or a juice just didn't do it. Here I am. I'm eating, man. This is about 800 calories. Eat. Like my man Benitez, who lost that fight, by the way. Um, I will not go hungry. I'll train. I'll ride my bike. Okay? I won't go out late at night like Wilfredo. I'll stay away from the Chiquitos. My wife will kill me. 
and uh, energy, lean, ready to go. All right? All right. Never let yourself get hungry. Just make sure you are eating great food. Press three fruits and vegetables all day. Save the uh, cooked food for later in the night. Sleep like a baby. Get up and do it again the next day. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all. Um.